Standard Aero, the world leader in helicopter MRO services, and Thales, a world leader in avionics and mission systems, introduce stable light. Uh, helicopters have a higher accident rate than uh, the other general aviation aircraft. And uh, we believe we have the technology to uh, improve on this situation. We got rid of the fly, uh, dedicated flight control computer and we embedded our control laws inside the actuator itself, which means that uh, it's uh, really a good fit for a small helicopter like the AS350 here. And this autopilot is unique on this market uh, because of its linear actuator, which can uh, compensate on a very uh, fast speed the motion of the flight control and correct or augment uh, the dynamics of the aircraft. It really makes the pilot feel as if he is flying a different aircraft. Actually, on this system, we are bringing technology that was uh, matured on uh, Part 29 aircraft and we bring it to the Part 27 world uh, light helicopter market. So we made sure that the product could fit in the uh, IS350 with the compactness. Uh, we adapted the control law, we tuned the control law in flight test. We adapted the product to the interface of the avionics interface of uh, the AS350. And we adapted also the range of the flight control themselves, the, the speed of the actuator to match the dynamic of the aircraft. We are really a true four axis autopilot, uh, which includes all of the modes. It means that we can literally uh, almost fly around the pattern without uh, touching the sticks. It means that uh, whenever there is a, an obstacle detected by the uh, embedded uh, TOS system of the aircraft, the uh, autopilot will command the climb to avoid the obstacle. We have the go-around mode, which means that with a single uh, button press, the helicopter can uh, start a climb and will uh, also level, uh, go wings level. And uh, all this with, uh, with a single button press and without having the pilot having to uh, make the collective input at the same time, for example, as would be the case on a three-axis system. Uh, the transparency means the trim actuators um, anchor the flight controls uh, in the cockpit. That allows the series actuators to apply uh, corrective actions uh, downstream of the pilot. So you're going to have your series actuators uh, activating at high speeds uh, at all the time. So they have a limited authority and they work at high speed and they're going to work to counter any uh, gusts that we have or uh, instability in the aircraft. Uh, therefore, from the pilot's point of view, it uh, really makes it seem as, as if the action or the, the autopilot is working automatically behind the scenes. We've taken our uh, past experience uh, from field work and we've uh, really put an effort in to reduce the complexity. So the autopilot system is going to be uh, effectively listening for first a caution from your HTAWS and, uh, and after that, if that's ignored, it'll uh, listen for the uh, warning that comes from the HTAWS. They can press a button on the side click which will zero that velocity and effectively put it into a, uh, a, a stationary hover. Stable light, a true autopilot for light helicopter professionals.